Right, have I got a surprise for you? Come into the lair. It's, it's not a full video by any means. I just want to give you an update, the sort of things that I've been getting up to. While I've been having a kind of a break from videos. So, as you know, I've been remote controlling the whole system. And I've bought this, which is a really cool uh, piece of equipment, basically. And it drives four plug points. Okay, I just plugged this into the wall, by the way. All right, this is... It is a consumer unit, but um, I just made it a piece of equipment by putting a plug on it. And then we've got uh, four plug points at the bottom. So the reason for the four is I've got a four master pieces of equipment we need to switch on. And to do that, we've got a little app on my, on my phone, you know. So we can put the power supply on, the 990 and so on. So I'll hit the power supply button, put it on, <laughs> and it's on. And put the, the ACOM on as well. Those little red lights just come on, look. The 990 with this button. And that's booting up. And the last thing I want to do is the PC, which is over here. Hey, hey, so that's booting as well. And while that's booting up, I've been busy as well. We put up some scaffolding poles, look. Up here, so I've got a ton of lights. It's rather pleasant. Uh, it's just, I don't like fluorescent lights, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's all been a big job. Getting the whole remote thing, I found really quite exciting and good fun. There's one last trick involved in all this, all right? ACOM on relay, all right? Now, what does that do? So that's actually a one second blip. If I, if I press this button, what does that do? Under here somewhere, you see a little blue thing. That's another one of these Shelly controllers. By the way, I'll put all this in the description. All of that does, it takes pins five and nine of the ACOM control panel here and shorts them out. And that is exactly the same uh, as pressing the, the on off button. So this is actually mm, quite a good trick, <laughs> to be honest. But anyway, I'll fire it up, see what happens. Right, turn on. Hey, hey. So then that, that's booting up. You see, the thing is for remote control, you want to be able to power things up and down. So I've used that little consumer box, that piece of equipment I've made, that's called a Shelly 4PM. Uh, and I'm just using the consumer unit as what they call a DIN rail. And it was big enough to get all the wiring in it. I'm, I'm just driving four plug points. It's, it's like an extension lead, you know what I mean? With a little relay in it. And then uh, Shelly also do these smaller ones as well. They switch up to 16 amps or 10 amps live, 16 amps full current. That's the size of the thing that I'm just booting up the ACOM. I'm just using that one as a relay, but you can switch mains with it as well. I've got three or four of these. They work, they connect to your Wi-Fi point. Mike's been in actually. You can see that purple lead down there somewhere. We drilled a hole through the wall. I previously bought a little ubiquity switch, little ubiquity Wi-Fi point. So everything's kind of working in here now, if you know what I mean, which I'm really pleased about. So I've done some field maintenance, I've done some, I've done the whole remote system, I've got the lights up, a few other things I've done as well. Oh yeah, we got the, um, uh, we got the DX engineering order, which we've nearly completed. I've even got my own pallet truck. I'm not going to show you all that. This isn't supposed to be a production video, this is just a bit of fun, okay? If you want a bit of home automation in your shack, um, these things work a treat as does the 4pm if you want four relays. You get a nice screen, it tells you the power consumption, all sorts of other things it does. What I wanted it for is to switch things on and off. So I'm now gonna power it all down. So what I'll do is I'll turn off the 990. Click, that's gone. I can't turn off the ACOM yet because it hasn't fully booted. I don't think it's fair. Here we are. Because if you watch the screen here, it actually says, Amplifier is off, still cooling tubes. Well, okay, didn't actually need much. So normally what I'd do is I'd just be, uh, I'd run remote desktop and I'd hit, you know, Alt F4 and switch it off. So I'm just gonna switch it off manually now. Obviously shutting down. And then when it's fully down, I'll uh, I'll power it off with the little app, you know. You gotta remember, you gotta power it off so I can power it back on again. So I've just, I've changed the, oh, it's off. I've changed the BIOS. So when it sees power, it boots. You've got to give it a few minutes. There's a capacitor that needs to drain out. We'll put the ACOM off completely at the mains. Oh, 
I haven't got any internet because something went wrong. I know what's wrong, mate, because we're not on the internet. I'll put the Wi-Fi back on, make it easy. Obviously, you need internet. I didn't have any internet. Right, Acom. Oh, it's turned it all off. That's fine. And we can check that it is off. Just while I'm here, you know. Let's have a look. You, that screen will go brighter. Um, there's a little menu setting for that, which I can't be asked to do. Putting the lights, good fun. It's probably a funny colour because I haven't adjusted anything yet. But we've got scaffolding poles basically everywhere. I was going to hang tellies and speakers and all sorts. All, all that is just powered. And from a couple of sockets here. What's that? The hot air gun. So put that off. We actually put everything off now because I'm going home. So we've got more to do in the field. I'll just write in the list before Mike's turn up. Mike was here a minute ago. We've got um, a what, remote camera. We need Wi-Fi out in the field to power some stuff. More of those fun switches to do things. Put lights on at night, things like that with a camera. Be fun. We can control, control it all remotely that way. All right, uh, so um, I'll be back in about four weeks with a complete update and properly structured videos, how it all works, what I've done, and all that sort of stuff. I, I will actually give you another video here. Um, I'll tell you what's worthwhile watching is that huge Skylab thing we put up for CQ World. I just watched that this morning, particularly in the last 10 minutes. All right, if you want to watch that one, I'll put it here. Adios. Take care. Good night. Bye for now.